This episode was recorded in front of a live stream audience. Join me at gaming.youtube.com forward slash the Jessa Channel. Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel live on Steam, YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. Today is Saturday, November 17th, 2018, and we are playing Unavowed, the adventure game created by Dave Gilbert of Wadget Eye Games, who is joining me today. And me? I am Jessa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jessa channel. I'm Jessa, and I will be here live with Dave of Wadget Eye Games as we're going to play through some of his game, Unavowed. We are live on four different platforms right now. So, um, Valeste is already doing her job, giving me a sound check. I love it. Hi, I'm going to now put a chat up on the screen. Let me just get that ready for us and do a refresh of that. And you'll be able to say hello to me and it will show up on screen. Now, boop. So, um, that's me using studio mode. Um, I already screwed up today. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Live streaming is not for, not for chickens. Not for wussies. <laughs> Dave, who is in the background with me right now, um, he just, <laughs> and you won't be able to see him until I pull his, his camera up. He's going to go right there. But um, he already watched me make a mistake and I accidentally put his face up on Steam before we were ready to show it off. So, uh, uh, you know, I figure what we do is we just get our mistakes out of the way right up front. Um, go ahead and say hi to me. In chat, I am live right now on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Mixer, where you can say hello to me, and you will be greeted warmly. Warmly, Hello. Let's get this going here. And I'll start the conversation going right there. Yay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Dave, and we'll do a sound check and everything. Um, and he's just making, he's making sure that his hair looks pretty like last second, like hair check. <laughs> <laughs> and I am streaming on Steam as well. Valeste is part of the Jessa Channel mod team. She's with me today. Morgan will be with me uh, momentarily. And so they are here to help us be comfortable, safe, and happy. They will be greeting people who come in on Steam, on YouTube, on Twitch. 
spam our mixer. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and I kind of want to nap now. I don't know about you guys, but that was a lot of work. Dave just watched all that go down, you know, and, and, and I was announcing what I was doing. And uh, uh, let's go ahead and bring him up on screen. I'm going to studio mode you into the scene here and transition you in. And he's going to show up, right? Bam. Um, we run a professional show around here, except when we screw up. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and ask Dave to unmute his mic now. And I'm going to bring up. There he goes. And oh, Dave, there's some. Um, I forgot to tell you, there's some. We forgot to do this. Uh, there's some. I can hear me through the mic. So um, you, you're going to need to put on headphones so that I don't come through on the mic. Yeah. That okay. Would... Hold on. Uh, Hold on a second. Let's let me take you off. Let me take you off just a minute here. Okay. Uh Hold and on. and you know what? That dev that you thought you saw, you didn't. <laughs> when nobody there. Isn't that magic? I can make Dave I can make Dave Gilbert appear and disappear at will. And I should have told him about the headphones. I didn't. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, um so Valesse, tell me how you're doing. I'm happy. I saw a couple other people in chat, so I'm going to greet you while we are getting going here. And Dave is running to the bedroom to get his headphones. <laughs> Raquel, welcome to the Jessa channel. Surprise. Welcome back to the Jessa channel. I'm really happy to see you here. Um, let me go for default view so I can see chat up here. By the way, if you are in chat on YouTube, head on. And I'm going to show my screen. Well, actually, I don't want to show my screen until Dave is ready. And he's ready now. So I'm going to show my screen really quickly here so you guys can see how things are running in the background here. Um, and so my screen here, live chat, over. if you're over on YouTube watching, this um, live chat here, right here, top chat is what it defaults to. If you move it to live chat, it will show the chat room on um, the different platforms that are live right now with the exception of Steam. So you can see that Valeste is in Twitch right now, but that will show up because she's typing in Twitch and, and she's typing in YouTube, she's typing in different places. So you'll be able to see that. Also, just so you know, we are currently live on, isn't that cool? We are live on Steam right now. That is so awesome. If you wanna type something, now's the time to do it because you'll show up right here on Steam <laughs> and you'll be famous. That's like your that's like your 30 seconds of fame right there. Right there. So go for it. Anyway, um so we're going to be playing. I'm going to put Dave back on and have him speak and we'll do a sound check. And then um let me put you back here. Uh put the game up here. I'm sorry, not the game. Put me up here. And here you go. There we go. Let's transition you in. Hello, I'm right fading in, apparently. Yay! I hear him! I hear him. So, sound check, he should be just below me in sound. So, sound check from the team as well, please. Thank you. So, Dave, uh, we're playing Unavowed today. All right. All right. Dave, uh, Valeste wants you to be a little louder. And uh, Okay, let's, let's see here. Oh, no, I'm it's on my end. I'm echo of myself. Oh, so I'm because sure because that. I'm coming through because you're coming through on Skype. So uh, hold okay. on one second. I will turn that part off. Just a moment, please. And then I'll turn it back on. That means, though, that you won't be able to hear the game, but you'll be able to see the text. So you'll know. And okay, you, that's you've fine. Heard it. Yeah, that's exactly. Fine. All the developers always say that. They say, I've heard it. I'm, I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Okay, right, so... Sure um, so you need me to be louder, huh? No, no, it's on my end, Dave. I've got gotcha. you. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll bring myself back down then. Okay. Bam. So, right, um, so let me know how Dave sounds now. He should be allowed. Uh, he should be just along with me in sound. And I see cave monsters. Boo! Right there in chat. Cave monsters. I am so happy to see you. I'm so glad you came. We are live on Steam right now. It's really awesome. <laughs> cave monsters. Um, I'll show you, because I did, I thought I transitioned to desktop earlier, but I didn't because I had studio mode on. But uh, for those of you guys who are just joining us, you can also watch us on Steam right here. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? We're 
live on Steam. It's so cool. <laughs> um, it does take a while for Steam to show up. As you can see, they're like six minutes behind because Steam is like really, really 1993. But if you're We're watching on, on Twitter, Steam, Twitch. 15 seconds in the past. 15 seconds. Like it's like ridiculous. The delay on Steam Isn't is Twitch absolutely the same ridiculous. way or am I misremembering? Because it, it always seems there's a lag on Twitch as well. There is a lag on all platforms. Mixer is the, the least lag possible. They have faster than light technology. So mm -hmm. um, Mixer, where I am live as well, too, all at the Jessa channel. But uh, Valeste will be posting um, uh, links into, into chat, uh, showing you where you can buy Unavowed. But I'm going to move us back to just Jessa mode here. And let's start out, Dave. Let's chat, shall we? Okay. That's <laughs> why I'm here. <laughs> um, so, Dave, I want to know, the first thing I want to know is how, and I'm sure you've answered this question a hundred times if you answer it once, but let's just ask it one more time for fun. How did you mm -hmm. get into creating adventure games? Um, well, I was always a fan of them growing up, and I... Uh, it's not the happiest story, but um, basically I live in New York. It was 2001 and the month was September. So you kind of know what was going oh, on. Oh, yeah. 9-11. Uh, and I was between jobs and kind of looking for something to get my mind off things. And I discovered Adventure Game Studio. And I just started – I just – Thought, oh, yeah, I can I can make a little game just to just to kind of creatively vent and get my mind off stuff. And that's what I did. I made a little game and put it online and people seemed to like it. So I just kind of kept doing it. And then in 2006, I decided I couldn't envision doing anything else. Yeah. So I just kind of uh, thought, well, it's now or never. And I started selling the games instead of just um, releasing them for free. And I've been doing that for 12 years now. So – what was the moment when you said, I can't imagine myself doing something else? Was it like you were like, okay, um, I have to take a leap of faith here and imagine people can buy these, will buy these? Or was it like <laughs> one of those like things that. where life kind of shoved you up against the choice? Like you maybe lost your day job or <laughs> something like that, nothing, you know? Nothing so dramatic. I um, I did have a day job uh, before that. Like I, I was working in the garment center here in New York and it was really, really a boring thing. And I kind of was looking for a way to shake things up and, and kind of get out of that. Uh, and I had some friends who were teaching English in Korea, so I decided, oh, maybe I can do the same thing. And so I did do that. And then when I came home, uh, I had some money saved up. So it wasn't like I lost my job, but I had finished a gig. And yeah. since I was away for a year and um, I was, I had rented my apartment, I had money saved up. So I didn't feel like getting a job right away. So I kind of just started making my own games just to avoid getting a real job. And the, <laughs> the joke I always make is that I was doing it to avoid getting a real job, and I'm still doing that. <laughs> I don't know, Dave. You're pretty real job at this point because unavowed. <laughs> well, right now takes... I've worked harder at this than anything I've Anything ever done. else. I, I can imagine. I, always, so... I, I just know that if any of my old bosses from any other job could see me, they would not believe um, I was the same person because I kind of sucked at every other job I had, but this, so you no, know, I did too. Actually, that's, that's honestly, I, I am not a good employee. That's honest truth. I, it's not that I'm late. It's not that I'm insolent. It's not that I'm rude or I don't do the work. It's just that I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking of like what I would do and wanting to do what I, how I would do it. So I was really designed to be self-employed. Did you have that mm. same problem? And before you answer that, I want to say hello to Boop. Hi, Bozak. Welcome to the Jessa channel. Well, actually, welcome since you're on Steam right now. Welcome to Steam. Welcome to, to this unavowed Steam store page. Have you bought the game? Let me know if you're playing it. And now is the time to ask questions. If you'd like, my team will be fielding things to me and I will hand them to Dave. Because Dave is loves to talk about his games and unavowed. I basically and, could talk to, about myself as long as you need me to. So. Basically, we're going to be here all night. <laughs> yeah. It's the Dave Gilbert show. <laughs> sure. 
let's, and let's do I it. told him let's do when it. we were setting this up, I said, Dave, your name is way more important than mine. Put your name top because, you know, people are going to come to the unavowed page and be like the Jessa channel. Who's that? <laughs> but they, they want to know. They want to know you. And I do, too. And that's why I reached out to you to do this. And I'm really glad you could join oh. me. So we have hello from hello. Hello from the Pacific Northwest. I see Iku there. We're going to be putting up the game in just a moment. But um, just so you and, know, I can't actually. It's very hard for me to see the chat. It's very blurry on my end. So if I if I don't respond to you, basically Jess is going to have to relay the questions to me because I can't. Okay. See them. And also, Dave, you can open up a tab and watch it on Twitch. Right, but there's like four different channels, right? There's like Twitch, yeah. uh, Steam, but, YouTube, and Mixer. Yes, and but the I, chats I, are no all funneled all into. <laughs> you can you'll see every chat in Twitch. All the chats. Oh. Yes. Every right. chat is on yes. your channel or on, I'll, I'll open up yours. Okay. Um, all of them except for Steam. So any any channel you're on, you'll see all questions from all chats. Except for Steam? Except for Steam, which the team will put those questions in for us. OK, so let me let me pop it out. So I. So don't basically see... we're running a we're running a pretty professional stream around here. Or we like to okay. think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. glad one of us is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so just, I wanted, to yeah, I wanted to, to say hi to Iku. Iku, do you out. have unavowed already? Let me know if you do. And um, and by the way, you guys, Veleste, right there, is um, uh, one of the team members who's working behind the scenes to make sure that we have a professional and successful stream. So make sure, as always, to hug your mods because they work their tails off for me, and I absolutely adore them. And they know it because I threatened to kiss them constantly. <laughs> and so, yeah. So Iku's already played Unavowed. So Iku, if you have any questions for Dave, now's the time to start whipping them out. So anyway, Dave, let's. Uh, now that we've told us about how uh, you got into adventure gaming, which is which, and, and creating your own games and you having your own business, which is similar to my story as well, too, which is basically. I realized that this is what I want to do with my whole life. And this is the thing mm -hmm. I was really good at. And I wasn't good at being employed. So how did that lead to Unavowed? Which is a massive undertaking. Did you wake up in the middle of the night? Did you go, I need to make this game? Was it like one of those shower <clears throat> thoughts that came to you? How did that come about? To a degree, um... Uh, I don't know what exactly the moment was, but I, I know that I've always wanted to do like a very um, like a character based RPG type thing. I was always a fan of uh, games like Night of the Old Republic and Jade Empire oh, yeah. and, you know, Mass yeah. Effect and Dragon Age and those like the, the Dragon party Age! Based stuff <laughs> like um I guess the, the narrative structure of like you've got you know different characters you can pal around pal around with and you choose which ones to go out with you, um, but I always thought it had to kind of be in the in the um, context of a role playing game and a uh, traditional RPG with like combat and stats and stuff, and then I guess what in, what kind of inspired me um, was a interview by a Bioware writer named Jennifer Hepler who I funny enough went to summer camp with. Though I didn't know it at the time, <laughs> I love telling the story, and it probably embarrasses oh, him. That but, one, um, that that's a true story. That one day at camp is actually a true story for you. Wait, that one day at camp? Yeah, isn't that thing? Oh, isn't that oh, like? Yeah. Well, this was like a few years at camp, but we were like thirteen. Um, but I, but the thing is, I, I remember hearing about Jen Hepler's work and her interview, and when she she was talking about how in combat combat oriented games how you're often uh, encouraged or allowed to skip the narrative stuff to get to the um, get back to the action. Uh, for her, uh, she wanted to skip the combat stuff to get back to the juicy narrative in the Bioware style, Bioware style RPGs uh, because that was the core of the experience for her. And mm -hmm. I thought, wow, that's a great idea. Um, why, like, uh, that sounds like the point and click adventure game of my dreams. Why is nobody making that game? And probably years because went it's by ridiculously and no ambitious. one made that game. And so I hubristically decided, well, I'm going <laughs> to make that game. And here I am. So, as I had mentioned, it's it's ridiculously, ridiculously um, ambitious. 
Yeah. <laughs> It's it's um, so I, at I managed what to point, streamline it so it was more manageable, but it is pretty ambitious for compared to what I've done before, for sure. So how how and by the way, if anyone's having trouble watching on YouTube, let me know. Surprise is letting me know that he's having trouble, but I can see it fine on YouTube. So let me know if anyone else is having trouble. Maybe there's something I can do on this end to fix it. In any case, um, so. When you take on something like this, now you have Jennifer who hands this idea out and she says, it would be so cool if, and you go home and you go, yeah, that would be cool. How does, how do you go from that to a manageable workflow of making it actually happen over a space of three years? Like, for example, do you do mm -hmm. like one of those mind mapping things where you just take the ideas? What's for uh, for us who have no idea for this is where you, this is your chance to shine and show us what it's like on the other side. What um, what's the this, first step you do? I have this wonderful tool. I have this amazing thing. It's called a notebook. <laughs> and I just I, I just kind of like write stuff down, and um, eventually something kind of forms, and I put it together. I don't like some people use for, software like Artistry Draft, or they use flowcharts, or they they have some kind of. I, they 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 have something to help organize everything. I don't do that. Maybe I should. I find it gets in the way. I just sort of write stuff down until something kind of coalesces into an idea, and I kind of just make it from there. There is honestly no rhyme or reason to how I work and how I've managed to get 15 games out the door um, in the 12 years I've been in business is a mystery even to me. 15 um, games really, in 12 like, years. I, Pardon? 15 games in 12 years. Are you serious? Yeah. Not all of them were written by me, but we have published we have published uh, games yes. as well as developed yes. them. I mean, we are deeply involved in, in most everything we do. Uh, but I, yeah, we've done 15 games. And uh, yeah, somehow. <laughs> that made. is really impressive. No, honestly, you. that is really impressive. Um, because... I'm, I'm curious. Can you? Are you having a hard time hearing me? Because you're putting your hand. Oh no no no! I'm just uh, resting my hand. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. glad you're comfortable. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Gibbous. This is just like this is like me resting my hands, just like. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I'm glad you're yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I know. Maybe it looks weird. I'll, I'll stop. Doing no, it. it's it doesn't look weird. It just <laughs> looks. I just wanted to make sure everything was fine and that you were huh? you were relaxing and enjoying yourself. Yeah yeah totally fine. Okay, so um, 15 games in 12 years. You heard it here. Now what? What are all the things that you do? Like, what's your official title? And like, when you have meetings at, at, at the Jessa channel, when we have meetings, meetings. they involve <laughs> these guys back here. I'm not joking. Uh, My husband and I will sit down. Ping, who's a mascot of the Jessa channel. And if uh, Ping is your mascot, if Ping is your mascot. Hello, Morgwen. If uh, Morgwen is the other team member who I was telling you would be here for us. Uh, so she and Valeste are the ones who are going to be working behind the scenes for me. Um so uh, anyway, uh, we have our meetings with our with our mascots and many of the patrons who are here today uh, have Ping as their mascot. When you join Patreon, you can pick Ping or Harvard or uh, Nantuk, who's the polar bear right there. So how are your meetings like since you work from home? Do you have like a little boardroom? Like, do you and your wife and your daughter sit down and like call the meeting to order? No, I mean, pretty much. I just chat with the um, the other folks involved over Skype. Uh, ben, the artist, he kind of just knows what needs to be done. Like, I design. I talk, I'm in constant communication with him. He knows kind of the ideas. Okay, here's here's the dialogue I've written. Here's how it's going to go. And I just give him a background list and an animation list and just say go. And then the great thing is he's in Australia, so. I wake up every morning and have a whole bunch of stuff waiting for me that I can start putting into the game. Um, and usually, like, I'm not an organ. Like I said, I'm not organized. I'm not a business person. I've just found, managed to, uh, I'm very, very lucky in that I have found people who are willing to work with that paradigm. They can just do their job without a lot of pushing and a lot of direction. They just know what they need to do and they just go about doing it. And if, I'm if they ca like if Ben for example catches up to my design and I don't have anything specifically for him to do, he will like go through the game and add lots of little incidental animations and a lot of extra stuff to make it 
cooler and better um, while he waits for me. So he's not just sitting there idle. So that's why there's so many like little, you know, background details and idle animations and little quirky things in the game. Cause like when he's waiting for me to give him stuff to do, he just goes and does stuff himself. Um, and stuff like that. So there's, I don't really have meetings. Like people just know what they need to do when they do it. And that's how I like it. Like if, if you're waiting for me to tell you what to do, I can't work with you. Yeah, basically. exactly. So yeah, exactly. That's, I'm very, I'm pretty laid back. Um, I imagine like a more, I, I guess my job title would be CEO. Cause I'm, that is so cool in charge. <laughs> Cause I'm in charge. Like I'm, you know, uh, or creative director or something. Um, but honestly, yeah, I just, I'm very laid back in general, which is probably why things take so long for me. But I didn't really get into this business to, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I there are easier ways to earn a living. So if I'm not enjoying myself, why am I doing it? Uh, so I'm just kind of, I just kind of let it happen. Games I want to tell happen. you <laughs> I don't know also that, that sense, Raw Fury thinks highly of you because you worked with them. How, how I got connected with Raw Fury mm -hmm. was through Kathy Rain. Yep. Uh, and that was one of the first early games that they put out, you know, and um, uh, David Martinez, who is now a mentor of mine, um, mm -hmm. put a call out to creators. Can someone cover Kathy Rain for us on YouTube? And I, I put my hand in the ring and I was the only person out of a many people, I don't know how many, 20 or whatever, that actually went ahead and produced the content and followed through and finished it. Uh, although we did not finish the game because we got it, I found it to be too violent uh, towards the end. Mm. So we had to stop playing that. Um, however, oh, he said, well. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, well, I know, but you're here to hold my hand. Interesting experience here. <laughs> You thought Kathy Rain was violent? Well, wait yeah, the first yeah. Minutes of um, <laughs> speaking of which, Dave brings uh -huh. up a good point in that Unavowed, this is a family friendly channel. If you're watching me on Steam, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer, you guys know that this is a family friendly channel. I must give a caveat that the game that we are about to play is not family friendly. It is got some adult themes. It's got some little adult language. So this is one to watch after you have put your little ones to bed. Okay? For the rest of us, we're going to go in and get this, the crap scared out of us. My little one is on the couch right over yeah, here. Yeah, right so, over here. I, she's used to it, though. On, so she's, she's seen it. She's, she's like, whatevs. <laughs> So yeah. at this point, I think we should go ahead and put the game up and start playing through it. And oh, I yeah, learned, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Exactly. Um, right. Because developer commentary, uh, particularly to Steam, is a relatively new thing. I haven't seen anyone else doing it. Um, but we here at the Jessa, we, me, because <laughs> I'm Jessa, um, bring uh, developers, indie developers in to feature and showcase their games while playing the games with them. Keep in mind that this gameplay that I'm about to do is blind. I have not, I've opened the game, I've seen the main menu, that's it. The rest of it is gonna be Dave and us just enjoying ourselves and playing it together. Um, this is the closest thing that you are going to get to being able to sit with Dave on his couch <laughs> and play his game with him. This is as close as you're gonna be able to get to that. So I'm going to pull the game up here on this end and I'm going to game capture it to make sure we have everything set up just right. And um, and then I'm gonna bring Dave in and I'm gonna move him over. Uh, yeah, I know, he's like, ah! And there go. Um, I'm gonna make sure, get, uh, wanna make sure that this is game capturing here. So let me pull the game up and there it is, yeah. And then let's go ahead and transition over. So this is Unavowed. You see that Dave and I have moved to the corners. He's here. I'm here. By the way, you can see that uh, we are on Twitter at Wadgeti Games and also at the Jessa channel. If you're playing through Unavowed and you're enjoying it, feel free and let Dave know. <laughs> let him know on Twitter. Um, Please do. I so, love attention. Hello, Dwarven. Jester, welcome to the Jessa channel. Dev, Dev commentary stream is a genius idea. Thanks. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm loving doing them. We have featured so far. We featured Francisco. Um, he was awesome. Did you see that clip I sent you of Francisco? Uh, I sent it to you in your email, but I have a feeling that you may not have gotten that, but I'll send it to you later. It's I, the saw clip. It. I saw oh, it. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. Francisco's great. He is awesome. Oh, he's, 
he is a lot more he, he's a lot more like media savvy than I am. <laughs> I'm like yeah, like you ask him a question, he just gives this wonderful sound. Yeah, like, wonderful I'm like, answers. Uh, 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 I'm like oh, like stuttery and stammery and like I, I don't <laughs> yeah I don't. <laughs> I don't know, Dave. I gotta disagree with that. You're you're rocking it right now. You're comfortable. Oh. You're answering the questions. You're <laughs> you're you're doing great. You guys, oh, how is you. Dave doing? Tell me in chat. I think oh, thumbs gosh. up. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. If you are enjoying Dave uh, uh, spending his Saturday afternoon with us. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a sound check from the team. I'm going to bring this the uh, game sounds up now. And uh, so just give us a moment. We have to do with live streaming, Dave, we have to do sound checks on the fly. Okay. And yep, that's, just how, that's just how the, the cookie crumbles. And my team and I are used to doing it. So... They know how to tell me what's going down real fast. <laughs> Hello, <Jester> Coat Brush. Is <laughs> Welcome to the Jester well Channel. Legacy at an adventure game roundtable. Cool. And um, uh, it says here, Iku is saying that it's great to hear you. Iku bought <gasps> Unavowed and played it, and Iku is currently in Twitch. Can you see that on Twitch? Uh, you should see his comment coming up in the Twitch chat, even though he's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see yeah. it. It's great to hear you, Dave. Thank you, yeah. Iku or Eku, Eku Ryu. Is it Eku or Iku? <laughs> who's who's saying it right? Me or Dave? <laughs> um, Francisco voices a character in this game. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. He voices two people. You know what? Francisco did this thing where he promised that he, if he, if you bought his game, he wouldn't sweet talk you in a sexy parrot voice. <laughs> hey, baby, how you doing, sweet? I can't even do it. <laughs> Oh, I I don't know. I I I guess I think that's a reference to something, but I don't get it. It is. It's a reference to a parrot the, that he he voiced the parrot in his games. Oh, in his game, he voiced a parrot. In yes. Lamplight okay. City, he voiced the parrot. Yes. So okay. how did you did you enjoy Lamplight City? Or I know you did, but I should say, yeah. I how was it. your experience it. of it? Because I know that you and Francisco have worked together for a long time. Yeah, yeah, we did. He's a great guy. He really is. Um, so oh, yeah, he he lives uh, he's lives not far from me, and so yeah, we we try to hang out uh, when we can. Lately, it's been less often than normal. Uh, it's just been it's just been hard to you know, I get the older, more responsibilities and stuff like that. It's just hard to hang out like you used when, to. Yeah, but when you have the yeah, him. exactly. Um, but he's actually, uh, and then we'll stop talking about Francisco because it's not his <laughs> game we're playing. Yeah. I know. Why are we talking about I him? Don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's, talk about some, let's talk about somebody else that's interesting. Like, I don't know. It's your oh, show. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, let me just go into the options here, and I'm going to turn up the master volume. I can't and... actually... Dave won't be able to hear this, but uh, you guys will. Um, so, uh, Overwind is here. Well, awesome to have an adventure game stream. Thanks for keeping the genre alive. Welcome to the Jesse channel. This is Dave Gilbert, uh, Overwind, over here. And he is the creator of this game. So, sound check, please, mod team. Before we continue, sound check, please. A bit softer. Okay, so how about there? Thank you. That sounds about right. There's a there's a uh, some some intensity going on here. The whoosh sounds. That's what I was I was hearing that too. Let's knock that down a bit. I think yeah. there's like lightning and like there's lightning. Shrinking. That's the, it's this that the, you'll see it. It's lightning going on. Yeah. Yeah. When the when the skulls go across, they go. Rah! I, yeah. can't, I, I can't hear it myself, so I will take a yeah. little... Yeah, uh... unfortunately, the way we do this, Dave can't hear it, because then he, yeah, he, but he knows what it sounds like. <laughs> so, um... Although, wow, you're really taking it down low, so hopefully, hopefully y'all can hear it. I, I can hopefully hear it can quite hear the fine, and, stuff. and um, the team is telling me how things are. Okay, how's that? All right. And I trust them because they have been doing this for so long that they're always correct on the sound balance. Mm -hmm. When I when I listen back to it, you know, I can say, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Dave, are we You're boring you? <laughs> Dude, we haven't even started playing yet. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know how many times I've played through this freaking game? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. 
I'm gonna try to add a little extra touch to it. Uh, speaking of which, before we continue on, look at this, you guys. So I've, I didn't know that this was in the game until I started it up and looked in the options today. Dave Gilbert actually does commentary through the game. So if you've already played through the game, you can play through it again with commentary from Dave on top of the commentary we're gonna get today. If you turn this on here, turn it off. And when I turned it on the first time, his, his a face voice pick, uh, popped up your face and some text that showed you. That's not showing up now, but in any case, commentary on, commentary off, and there's commentary. If, you, if you've done it once already, it's not going to do it a second Yeah, time. I did it once, and I ruined it. I ruined the magic. Mm. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and open up the world, head into the world of Unavowed. May you be snatched away from this place. You May you be snatched away. I'm just imagining the, the, uh, the and lightning and the as smoke voice acting and away, stuff. As wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. Yeah, this is my uh, attempt at a character creation. Incorporating okay, it into so the game itself. This game is kind of like Dragon Age in that there's character creation it's like an rpg so this is the first place where we kind of see an adventure game rpg meld is that right uh yeah you're not quite at that point yet maybe i was a little premature in saying it but uh like i think the next two or three dialogue choices you'll you'll see what i'm talking about okay webcams are sometimes blocking the text boxes yes let me go ahead and fix that and we will try and move us i can see that so let's try moving us down here for this particular game because it looks like this might be where the least amount of of uh will cover up the least amount of the game how does that look guys thank you valest you'll only cover up if you get a steam achievement you'll cover that up okay perfect that works <laughs> but who cares about that yeah exactly i want a steam achievement <laughs> i'm well, like i don't know i care <laughs> but nobody will know so these three answers here um, where am I? What's going on? Or help? I'm gonna go for help. But at any time, Dave, you can suggest something for me to click on, and I will click on okay. it if you think there's something particular of interest that you'd like to show us. Silence. Okay. Now answer true. Okay. Are you demon man? I can't hear him, but I love Frank Todaro as this character. He's uh, a guy who I've uh, been working with for a while, and he's just awesome. Frank Todaro. Could you type yeah. that into Twitch, if you don't mind? Um, Are you, is Twitch far away from you to type? Uh, I can, I can invite, invite him to Twitch? No, I meant, can you type that name into Twitch? Oh, sure, So that sure, we can yeah. see the spelling of that and the mod team can search for information on him to link in the chat. Because I'm not sure how to spell that. Overwind, sure, thank you so much for dropping by. You're going to buy the game and play it through yourself? You don't want spoilers. Yeah, I understand. I understand. For those of you guys who are concerned about spoilers, we will not be playing through the whole game. I mean, we couldn't if we tried. I mean, you'll but be barely playing through. We're gonna be at the rate we're going. At the rate <laughs> we're, we're going, gonna we're gonna be much. we're gonna be through the first maybe hour of it, maybe, and that's if about that, it. Yeah. And the game is how long, Dave? I mean, I guess average seems to be about like. 10 to 12 hours, something like that. And that, that's if you play it, you know, because right now we're kind of like stopping and talking with every action. So um, at the rate we're going, I doubt we'll even get to uh, like the first like hour or half hour of it. Yeah, um, exactly. But it's like average seems to be about 10 or 12 hours. It varies. I know it takes me like a full, it, by the end it was taking me a full day to play test through it, t taking like six hours, six to eight hours for me to speed through it. So I imagine someone playing it cold would take them significantly longer. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna go for I'm a Demon because Goth would like me to. Goth in chat is mentioning that that's the one that he would choose. Uh, I like that though, to get to see different results. No, you are not. This is, some folks complained about this. Like, why can't Answer I be a demon? I'm like, it's true. an exorcism. That's the man, whole point. Woman, They're testing demon. you to see if you're if you say you're a demon or not. Exactly. Um, Overwind. Yeah, feel free to stay because, like I said, there's very little that will be spoiled at the rate that we play and the amount that we chat. 
Yeah, don't yeah. worry. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be a woman just because it's easier for me to do female voices when I talk to the character, if I would. <laughs> Demon, your power over her mind is waning. Release her now! Release her before I am forced to destroy kind of look you! What we were going for was kind of Remember, business Harry Dresden, but he human. ended up going for, Remember. um, like, clean-cut John Constantine. So, oops. Tell us, <laughs> before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name. All right, so our name is t uh, Chat. What is the name of our character? <laughs> I know this is family friendly, but if you type try typing a naughty word, something funny happens. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I warn them that we're not family friendly on this one. Okay. So, so um, let's let's uh type in. It's the first thing I thought. <laughs> that one. Okay, you okay, guys, uh, check it out. I, I, no family I friendly I, here. I, I hope I thought of. That. I hope I thought of that one. Otherwise, your name is bitch for the rest of the game. This is a game. Yep. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> your name. Your so, real one this time. No more messing around. So let me get this straight, Dave. You mm -hmm. sat there and tried to think of every naughty word you could think of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the obvious ones. Like, I actually looked up, like, you know, um, you know, filters, and they're, like, pages and pages long. Uh, and I'm like, I'm, there's no way I'm implementing every single one of those things. So I just took the most obvious ones. All right. Let's see, then. Let's see if we can crack the code. All right, oh, then. Take long, trust me. <laughs> it's, it's the equivalent. It'll be the equivalent of, like, make that face too much, and you'll it'll stick that way because it, it doesn't take much longer. It doesn't, it's very easy to crack. <laughs> Sir Prize said that he chose Dave Gilbert as his name <laughs> once. <laughs> the fun, funny thing is I once, um, uh, the, I added the option. So if you, you could not type one of the, there's four characters in the game. There's Eli, Vicky, Mandana, and Logan. And I decided just to make things easier, you could not use any of those four names. But I, for some reason, I accidentally coded it. So if your name contains those letters, like if your name contains the word Eli, yeah. like let's say Felicity, yeah, or exactly, Alyssa, yeah, or there were several others, um, then you get like a, 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 you know, they said no, you can't call yourself that. And so yeah, I got a lot of people who were confused, and it's so funny <laughs> after all the testing we did. I, I want to be one. Felicity. Okay, so let's see if you thought of this one, Dave. <clears throat> no, I didn't. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that one. But that, that's not that's not bad. <laughs> I know. That's I can't think can of I see anything. Um, about that. um I yeah, I know. I'm trying to I'm not very good with the bad words, you guys. And you guys can't <laughs> type them in the chat because the bots will grab them. So, uh, yeah. Um, um, uh, how about, uh, let's, let's go for, uh, boobies. Booby? <laughs> just boobies. I mean, and, and I think we'll just, it's, it's, we'll just see if that choice. works. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, uh, yeah, that's your choice. <laughs> do I, You'll should I do it? From here on. <laughs> Should I do it's it? It's up to you. <laughs> I am not. I am not the one to tell you how to play the game. So that's true. And so, so, I'm not, but so, I, if it's, I'm going to be up to me to tell you how to have fun. So if this is what you want, <laughs> he's like, no if this is me. what you want, Jessa, um, I'll never work with you again. But here you go, Madam, Madam La Boobies. There we go, Madam La Boobies. Because I'm pretty sure you didn't think of that. <laughs> I. I I didn't. <laughs> Did you hear that? Just the Evil very spirit? obvious ones. Fortunately, she your name isn't herself. seen too often. She is so. yours no longer. <laughs> by the end of by the end of development, I was now like just naming past. myself Tell after random objects on my desk. <laughs> it's like, hello, I am mug Quick. that should have been washed a week ago, or hello, I am, you know, I am. I am plate with mouse. old fajita on it. <laughs> I am mouse pad. I am, you know, <laughs> glass of water. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so Madame Labooby has very important things to share. Um, so here you can choose an origin story. I'm very proud of this. This is totally stolen from Dragon Age Origins, where you can pick uh, an origin and you play a unique little vignette, depending on which one you choose. So you could be an actor, a police officer, or a bartender. Awesome. 
So by the way, uh, Dave, Cave Monsters Games is in Twitch chat right now. And she is Charlotte. You met her at Adventure X, and she's making this game that I'm covering the very millisecond it comes out, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, it's a giraffe, a detective English-speaking giraffe. I think I was. you were expoing that game, right? It was at yeah, the Expo? Yeah, she expoed it. Okay. I, um, I remember it. I, put I didn't the, get a chance the title, to play it. There was, always, there was always someone there when I walked by, so I didn't get a chance to play it. Though I do vaguely remember you were from Sheffield. Is that right? Uh, Yeah. Are you from Sheffield, um, Charlotte, if you feel like re revealing that? Uh, but anyway, yeah, she's a fan of yours, as am I. Oh, thank you. So we can be a police actor. and uh, A police actor. <laughs> a police officer, <laughs> an actor, or a bartender. Lord Winklebottom investigates. That's it. Mm -hmm. So yes, I remember it. Uh, fans of the Jessa channel, we will be playing that game. Hopefully Charlotte will join me and do a developer commentary stream on her Steam page. Uh, oh, hey, the Gibbous folks are here too, or the Gibbous folk. Yes, and Both Gibbous is here too. And I have played that game. Um, I demoed that game for the channel. So when that game comes out, uh, hey, Gibbous, will you do a developer commentary stream with me? Hi, Crafter. Welcome back to the Jessa channel. So anyway, um, in chat, could you guys give me an, an actor, police officer, or bartender, please? And those of you guys in Steam can do the same. I'm going to go over and check Steam real quick. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Uh, actor, police officer, or bartender. What would a police officer do? I don't know. We'd have to click it and find out. Gibbous is like, hey, yeah. Awesome, your second Gibbous. playthrough with commentary. So you're basically hearing my voice a lot. After last weekend and this this uh, event and the commentary, you're basically hearing me a lot. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have uh, two votes for bartender. Yes. Let's go for that. She's beginning to remember. I like the bartender one. Night after night, you pour I like all three hour people for forget reasons. their troubles. You the bartender one I feel has the most interesting character arc. Now it's your turn. Take your, 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 oh gosh, I'm sorry. Advice. Fight it! Remember who you are. Oh man, I just love Remember. Frank Dodaro's voice acting. He he currently plays uh, Star Scream in one of the Transformers cartoons, which is pretty cool. Awesome. So when I go out of the game, there's a um, there's a, a a sound reverb here, and I have to go out of the game for just a minute, so I can. Um, so I'm trying to to get to the menu section like is it an escape or anything like that dave uh, sorry what about? sorry uh hold on a second dave let me just see if i can just do it this way all right good. No, sorry uh, alt, alt I, tab I, alt tab is what did it yeah. uh because i'm gonna turn down the game a little bit more because when dave is talking it's a little loud uh compared to his voice so just let me know uh mod team i'm turning it down to <clears> 25 <throat> okay um Okay, so here we are in front of Sammy's. So the first question I want to know, remember that, you know, we're on the opposite side. We don't know ex how you put any of this together. So did you go around Brooklyn, for example, and take pictures of places? <laughs> And um, try sometimes and... I do. This particular one is not based on anything. Although I did once, uh, I, uh, maybe this was subconscious, but I used to go, um, this is going to make me sound like a complete dork, but in like my, in the early 2000s, um, I used to go to a karaoke bar a lot, uh, mainly because <laughs> my, cousin, my cousin was dating the bartender there and they would, she would give us free drinks constantly so uh, I, I i there are a lot of I, there's things i can sing really really well because i was there a lot but the bartender's name was sammy <laughs> and it wasn't until i later realized like wait a minute maybe maybe that was a subconscious connection there but that yeah, i don't know yeah <laughs> dave i'm not joking yeah i will buy you the steam game of your choice i'm not kidding if you sing something for us right here right now do it <laughs> Diana Ross me not, right now. You do not you do not want to hear me sing right now, my No, I do. <laughs> I do. You no, guys, no. I want to give me it in chat. Who wants to hear Dave sing hands up? Okay, he, here's how it works. Hold here's on. how it works. You, you have to give me like at least five oh, wait. free gin and tonics and uh it needs to be like at 2 a.m. and uh then I will do it really really well. <laughs> okay, well at, 
Would you at if least I'm sober, hum a few bars? I mean, I can't sing. I can't sing while I'm sober. That's crazy. What? Sorry. Would you at least? Because <laughs> would you hum a few bars? Like something? That's <laughs> not. <laughs> oh damn, man. Sorry, damn. man. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, um, my new life spot. goal is to get Dave drunk on gin and tonics because <laughs> I want to hear him belt out Diana Ross or YMCA or something. I want him to whip out some Whitney Houston so hard. Never did that. <laughs> Never did Whitney Houston. This is a long time ago, too, although I, I, I still like doing it. That's awesome. You guys learned it here. Dave, Wa Dave from Wadged Eye Games likes karaoke. So get him a karaoke machine for his birthday. I mean, I also spent a year in, in Korea, like I said. So, I mean, you can't go a year in Korea without going to at least one karaoke place. Really? I didn't know that. I've never been to Korea. Is that that's big in Korea? <laughs> yes, it's big in Korea. It's very big in Korea. He's like, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, so this scene isn't really based on anything. Not really. I mean, okay. it's just a typical Bronx place. Okay. Um different things that we can click on here is there a button that we can push here to see everything on the screen no. that's... uh yes if you just hit the right click right mouse button for a few seconds it'll uh everything will pop up all the okay, important so we see things door. Will pop up. like the like the things you can actually interact with will pop up oh I everything see. Okay. Else, like, everything else will hover you can hover over because we thought like it would just be too busy otherwise so we just you could just you get all the important things will pop up we decided on like since the char main character doesn't uh, speak, uh, or rather isn't voiced, we yeah. went for the whole like if you hover over something, then you get a, a description, uh, rather than you click on it and get a description. We I really I wanted understand. to like uh, keep it going. I didn't want anything to stop you from playing. So you can just casually scroll and, and look around, but you don't have to wait for the character to like say what it is. It's just there. Okay. Just keep um, it flowing. And I, I want to just take a quick moment to um, to acknowledge some of these things here that are in uh, chat. Some of the things people have been saying to you. Um, sure. Guinness, welcome to the Jessa channel. Uh, this game has been on his wish list for a while. So, Guinness, nice. you know, I invite you to go ahead and make your Saturday night because you're going to learn things about the game right now with Dave that you wouldn't have known in any other way. So, I mean, the magician is right here. So, um, so, uh, <laughs> so go ahead and go, go ahead and, and, and plop down. How much is the game right now, Dave? It is $14.99. $14.99, man. You could like it's like that's like what like two gin and tonics or like ten hours of content <laughs> in New York maybe <laughs> in New York yeah exactly um, a question here from Overwind Overwind says have you ever thought about making a game with stats like a quest for glory games hmm I may have thought about it it just sounds like an absolute nightmare so <laughs> I I never attempted it because it just seems like a real nightmare to test i know that um the quest for infamy guys spent a long time making a game like that and uh i just couldn't even imagine how long it would take this game took long enough by itself um adding stats and stuff on top of that just seems like an absolute nightmare so um i haven't considered it i'm not completely discounting it maybe someday but uh not at the moment okay and valeste is saying um she'd like me to read those out i can do that absolutely and goth is saying that he's been thinking about getting this game you like several other wadget eye games he says but he really likes the premise of this one um Ooh. and also gibbous earlier on said that he wants to point out the great soundtrack so let's talk about well, that soundtrack you. for a minute. I, I can't hear it at the moment. But yeah, that's all Thomas Reagan, who was at Adventure X. So if you were there, you would have met him. Um, yeah, that's all Thomas Reagan. I've been working with him since Blackwell Unbound in 2007. Uh, as pretentious as it sounds, I call him my Danny Elfman because he just, you know, if, if I, if, yeah, if I'm Tim Burton, he's Danny Elfman because he always... <laughs> 
He just he just gets me. He just he he gets it. He just gets me. He um I don't have to like like I said like if I, I don't want to have to work too hard. <laughs> I I want to work with someone who just knows what to do and he just knows what to do. So um, you've been really that, lucky with great. that because I've been extraordinarily I, lucky. Yeah, because like for example, your PR person, uh, Emily Morganti, if she's watching, hi Emily. Um, but she she was like on top of it. Like we were taking care of stuff without you even being aware we were doing it. Oh, and... Emily knows me. She knows me. She knows me. I she I got like I call her a second brain sometimes because she just I mean she does all the grunt PR stuff. Yeah. That, like just yeah. The, like, yeah. I've worked with PR people before and they just come up with these like crazy wild pie in the sky ideas of oh you know, like a developer commentary stream. <laughs> uh, but no, but like Emily just does like she doesn't bother with like all the crazy ideas like here is the core stuff that we need to do and here is all the you know the the, the hoops we have to jump in order to do it and she just does all that and it's like all of the the, the grunt work of PR um, just like the the follow ups and just you know being being on top of like who has what and who doesn't have what and that kind of stuff you know I get sent interviews and she knows developers are busy like we're busy I get you know mm -hmm. I'm doing a hundred things at once and I forget and so it's like oh hey here's this person who you know once you uh, it still needs you to fill out that interview maybe you should do that um, that kind of stuff so she just yeah she's wonderful um, yeah. yeah that's Emily you heard it here Emily Morgan no she's great um, I just adore working with her she just is a great PR person okay so that should help Celeste let me know um, and one moment please let me get my chat back up here all right yeah, we played a half uh, and... hour. We're now we're now on the second screen of the game. Yeah, so let's move on. <laughs> we're moving really fast. Wait. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah. This guy is um long time no played by uh, Logan Cunningham. His name is he... Logan in the game too, which is uh, Logan Cunningham. You might know from, as the narrator from Bastion and the sword oh, from Transistor. Oh no way! Really? So yeah, he lives in Brooklyn. So we've worked together a few times. Uh, so I was I've been the last project we worked on before this was Primordia. Which was way back in I've 2012, heard of that, yeah. and every project I've done since, I'm like, "Hey, Logan, you know, you yeah, exactly. Be in, why don't you send an audition?" And he's always busy. And finally, I just got him for this. Yeah. And um, he's just great. Ah, oh, he's just wonderful. He's. I mean, you guys that, listen to this oh, voice. Oh. Listen, I mean, he said his voice is amazing. This and this character, by the way, he's mine. Nobody touch him. I saw him first. <laughs> he's mine. <laughs> Logan, what are you doing here? Says Madame LaBoobies. I shouldn't be here. I know, but I need your help. He's my brother. Oh dear. You remember, Jonah? He's in there. He's bad. Badder than me on my worst day. Your boss I love about Logan's voice is that he's just, butt. he's a young guy. He, really? But it sounds, oh God, yeah. Like you listen to Bastion and it sounds like, you know, some seven year old chain yeah. smoking cowboy. Yeah. But he's like this, young good looking kid you know and he's uh but he's got this voice that sounds so lived in that um uh and lo the character logan here is a uh, kind of a recovering alcoholic and been through some stuff so he's, he's uh, seen having some a very stuff, lived yeah. in voice is was yeah. perfect so he spent a couple of <clears throat> scary nights at at uh uh karaoke bars he has logan's been around <laughs> with that voice i <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that voice would sound singing, but I would listen to it. I would listen to it doing anything. <laughs> when is the first patch for Unavowed coming out? I, I am not sure. Um, fortunately, there haven't been that many bugs, uh, so there's no massive rush. The problem with Adventure Game Studio games is that when you patch it, you run a real risk of breaking people's save games. And so oh. I, I put off doing patches as long as possible for that reason, um, because uh, I don't I don't want to like there have to be really big problems for me to risk that and I or just a lot of a lot of small problems that have added up that I'm finally going to release one big patch in the hopes that they don't break saves crossing yeah, fingers yeah, yeah, um, yeah. so yeah I always wait a while before doing one um, but fortunately it doesn't really need one from what I can tell there's no there's no major issues that uh, yeah I was wondering that, first of all Morda I'm going to call you Mordecai uh or Mordica, how about that, Mordica? 
Uh, welcome to the Jessa channel. I am here live with Dave Gilbert of Why Should I Games. However, my question to you is, do you feel it needs a patch? Is there something that you're experiencing problems with? Let yeah, us know. I guess that should be my question. Yeah, yeah let like, us know in chat let, why let, you let particularly that, want that. to that question. Okay, yeah. um, you don't want to go in. Uh, no, let's say, I'll under I understand. I'll get him out. Thanks, really. I thought I could go in myself, but I don't think I can. The first thing they tell you is not to enter gin joint if you can avoid it. I've gone four years. I can't lose them. Not even for him. Okay, so, no, that's not selfish. I mean, he's recovering. That's, I mean, or if it is selfish, it's healthy selfish. Um, I'll talk to him. Thank you. You have no idea. Just talk to him, okay? He practically lives in this place. You know him better than my I. Slurping sounds. And don't no worries. Don't boss him out here. How you doing, kiddo? She likes me too much these days. You good? Okay. My so, um, the... let's head on into the door to uh, Sammy's bar. All right. Uh, Mordecai is it. answering and saying, I should mention that I was a beta tester and I'm overall really fine with the outcome. But I've noticed that the achievement system is a is a bit broken. Sadly. There's one or two achievements that don't work right. Yeah, I know. Um, they, again, yeah, it's like I'd, I'd still file that under pretty trivial because it's like I'm not going to risk breaking the game. So for, the, for, an achievement yeah. can yeah. An achievement will work. Uh, so, yeah, I know. I, I think one of the like uh, there's one achievement that doesn't work well, where it's like if if you have certain combinations of companions like if you have like Eli and Madonna for X number of missions, you're supposed to get an achievement for that. Um, and for some reason, it's not working for everybody. I don't know if that's the one you're referring to. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to break the game to fix that because that would be silly. <laughs> but um, when I, uh, whenever I do really, um, I get around to like doing like a big patch for a lot of a lot of the small issues. Um, a lot, of, like, a lot of the issues I've been I've been compiling are individually they're very trivial, but I imagine like a, when they when there's enough of them, and I'll I'll try to fix them individually and try not to break saves for each one, and then I'll release a big patch. But it's not something I want to rush because yeah. um, I'll break saves, which has happened yeah. before, and it pisses everybody off. Especially a game that's done. Th I mean, you know, not to toot my own horn, but a game that has a lot of players at the moment because the game did really well. If I'm suddenly if I break saves at right now. Like, I would never hear the end of it, so I'm going to wait for a little while. Like, I'd file that under Trivial. Like, it doesn't it doesn't stop you enjoying the game. It doesn't exactly. stop it. So I understand. I'd find, like, the fact that this one achievement doesn't work, then I'm not worried. Unless you're mm -hmm. referring to other achievements. I know that is the one achievement that doesn't work well. Okay. Going by the global achievement stats anyway. So it's a nice touch that when you, when you mouse over something, it turns into an eye, if you can get information about it, or a walk symbol. That's nice. So let's uh, head on into Sammy's bar. The commentary achievement, you have to <sighs> like turn God on the commentary here. from the opening menu. If you open it later, you don't get the achievement. Oh, okay. You got to open it like right when the game, right when the game opens, you got to turn it on. I, I, I want, you get that achievement if you get, you have to keep it on the entire game. And if you turn <laughs> it off once, you lose it. <laughs> there. You listen to me the whole Look game. Look at that. <laughs> You know, he doesn't play around. That's why he's CEO and and yeah. I'm the janitor. <laughs> Cuz he doesn't play around. Janitor. <laughs> <laughs> um uh oh. so there. I hope you feel like you have had some personal attention from Dave Mordica. Um Hi. So, Hi, do Dave. I look okay? I swear to things I got to deal with. You have to commit to your achievements. <sighs> I remember there was one this. achievement in Techno Babylon tonight, that, that angered people because it was really, really hard to get. Like, really hard to get. There's this arcade sequence in Techno Babylon that is really hard to win. But in game, the whole point is that you have to cheat to win it. That's the how you solve the puzzle. It, oh. But it is possible to beat that arcade sequence without cheating. It's just very, very difficult. And you get an achievement for it. But people are angry. They're like, it shouldn't be this hard to get this achievement. It's like, it's that's the whole point. <laughs> it's that's yeah. why it's an achievement. So, just a quick question for you that reminds me. Um, sure. How do you deal? Like, have you know, you're 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 trying to please, you know, thousands mm. of fans, and and that's so and question. and I'm sure that they love your stuff enough that they can be very vocal about it. 
you are blessed with all your games as far as I could see on Steam are very highly rated. But oh, um, let's talk about the dark side of it. Well, yeah, I, I admit that um, Unavowed has been um, a bit... Uh, I wouldn't say it's been that different. I mean, like... 99% of the responses are very, very positive. It's just that 1%. It's like you could, it's like that onion cart, uh, not onion, oatmeal cartoon where he's like, you know, you know, like, like me after reading 99 positive comments and one negative one. Yeah. And the guy is like crying. Yeah. And the thing about, the thing about Unavowed, and again, like this is slightly humble bragging, but it is our runaway bestseller compared to anything else we've done. It's outsold everything by a lot. That's um, oh which, so you know, good. Hooray. I'm uh, so glad. Stay in business. Hooray. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad too. But it also kind of, I feel like it, it's kind of, uh, given folks license to be really crappy and i have noticed on certain forum communities uh that just the, the perverse delight in ripping it to shreds and ripping me to shreds and just making assumptions about like my personal life and the oh, way i do business and yeah stuff welcome like that. to success and, on the internet yeah and it's just sort of like i was not prepared for that yeah and it was for me it was very small compared to what other developers get like i've seen some horrible yeah. stuff but um it was it was enough to kind of send me like just gig, put me on this negative feedback loop where i just <laughs> really felt horrible and it's like yeah. they say oh you gotta you gotta get a thick skin and i do have a thick skin but it's not it's that thi thick yeah not, you're still not, human it's, not in, it's i think it was jim sterling said it it's not doesn't mean impervious like yeah it, exactly it's exactly still like yeah, so i began to exercise a lot of self-care there's like a number oh, so of foreign communities where i just i just kept going to to see what they were saying even though they were saying horrible things i was like why do i keep going yeah do, exactly why do I keep checking this? Yeah. And so I finally just like installed an IP blocker on my browser. Like so yeah, now exactly. I can't go there. Exactly. Um, I mean I, I can I can turn it off, but now when I when I go there it says It, it gives this you is a blocked. moment to stop and, and I, think, do you really want to do this? Exactly. Yeah, and I remember why I did it and I, I don't go there. So I just um I said, Oh what are they saying about the game now? I'm like, Nope, I don't wanna know. I don't care. It makes no difference one way or the other. So I um, I've had to exercise. I have to like figure out new self-care methods. Self-care is such a perfect. powerful thing and something that we talk about a lot at the Jessa channel, um, particularly in it's our easier, little. It's a lot. It's very easy to say, oh, ignore the comments, ignore the haters. Blah, it's blah, not. Blah. You but can't. When you it, can't. When it's happening, it, it's really hard because you still wonder. Like, because oh, it, maybe they're saying something nice now. And, exactly. But, you know, they're being horrible. And, yeah, but uh, you yeah. don't. And you and and it can also affect your output. So curiously. My next question leads to, are you, um, and actually, let me just finish this conversation and then I'll ask you this next question about like, <laughs> yeah, we, what's coming up. Five minutes. Is Jonah here? <laughs> uh, yeah. Someone was worried Jonah's about spoilers. Here. Like, I don't, I don't I think like you'll that. have to worry <laughs> about <laughs> Not she, this way. Or she, I don't remember who it was. Was Overlord or Jonah? something? Jonah, he's worse. He or she. He came in here all twitchy and looking Say. scared. He asked for a whiskey and I gave it to him. Uh, the woman playing uh, Sammy, her name crying. is Tiana Kamacho. She used to live screaming. here in New York. Um, she moved to Burbank to do real bathroom. voice acting stuff. She is now in Pathfinder Kingmaker. As, like, we are playing that game and, right now. And oh, really? She's, Logan, she's, um, oh my God. It looks like oh my God, how can I forget? Sobriety. She's literally the first character you talk to. The, the, the barbarian woman with the big Lindsay. sword. Lindsay. The bard. Maybe you can get him out of there. Oh, Amiri. Amiri, the barbarian. Yep. And it's funny because she said, yeah, I'm in this game. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'll have to find you. And I turn on the game and she is literally the first character that speaks to you. And her face, her character is like the mar on all the marketing for the game. And it kind of blows my mind. That's and, and awesome. I'm so, I'm so proud <laughs> of her. Honestly, yeah. I'm surprised he's still standing. Look, just get him out the door. You can scream at the rats in the park for all I care. I'll just wait here. <laughs> okay, so um, you know, with with I'm still learning with developer commentary, and I know that we want to move the game along. I'm trying to find the balance between how much we're playing the game and how much we want to listen to Dave. And I always tend to lean towards the developer's commentary being more important than Anyone playing through the, play game the game at a certain pace. Yeah, if you guys are wondering. Um, so, but that leads me to this next question, which is. So you've experienced the taste of success. You've experienced going to Steam and seeing people that your game flying off of the digital shelves. That is by my standards. By my standards, yes. Yes. Th so 
Are you, how'd you celebrate? And are you taking a vacation now? Are you... <laughs> Well, we're going away for Thanksgiving tomorrow, so, uh, yeah. Um, we're visiting my sister out in L.A., um, so that'll be nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I, I, I threw a launch party, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, been, it's been nice because, you know, we were kind of in a little bit of a financial, not hole, but we were, you know, like, we, we needed the game to do well. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Keep, yeah. Stay in business. Yeah. And it's done, it, it's exceeded, uh, it's exceeded what we, we needed by a lot. So we're, we're happy. I'm very pleased. And yeah. uh, Mordecai is also saying, uh, I'm saying Mordecai, uh, remember, uh, remember that one Blackwell achievement where you had to trigger a bug? I think that's what, you were t what he was talking about. And that bug was just mentioned once in a forum post you wrote at some point. So Mordecai has been watching you, knows, knows, uh, you know, is familiar with you, obviously. I, I swear I don't know what this was. You had to trigger a bug to get an achievement? Could you explain that, no Mordecai? Idea. Yeah, so, please explain what that is. I don't know what anyway, that means. Anyway, um, we can see the jukebox is here. I'm just going to kind of scroll over some of the things here. These stools are head, held together with duct tape and prayer. Um, looks like this might be the bathroom, unisex. Let's head in there and see what we find. Go away, Sammy. Oh, I like that character. That's awesome. <laughs> For every choice, there is a consequence. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I, I'm trying to be Don't sorry. Be. <laughs> Don't but be. power to Madame the Boobies, you guys. <laughs> And I'm just going to, you know, we're going to hashtag this one. I like to hashtag something every stream. Um, and I, I think Madam would... Laboobies is really, I think she's a is feminist. He... I think Please, she's important. Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah. <laughs> so, Taking by the way. Uh, out to be a dad for a second. Okay. No worries. No, well, um, you know, sit up. Uh, I'm now the, the dad who says sit up straight. <laughs> Okay, like when you're a and kid I sit and up you're straight, and then your and your grown up says sit up straight. You're like, why? But now that I'm an adult, and I like whenever I slouch for a long time, I'm like my back hurts. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> sit up straight. You will thank me. Trust me. <laughs> all those things, all those things. Like, don't eat that snack. You'll ruin. You'll you know. You'll spoil your dinner. Yeah. Because if yeah. I have like a snack before dinner, I'm not hungry for dinner. But when yeah. I was a kid, I could eat everything. <laughs> so you don't um, think about that. So uh, by the way, it is uh, uh, coming up on two twelve p.m. here in the Pacific Northwest. So I want to um, let you know that we'll be live for another 45 minutes and we'll get through approximately another two minutes of the game at this rate. <laughs> oh, it's you. Well, you know, just, at least we're not spoiling. No. I think she's a no, feminist. Shut up. <laughs> just stop. I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, I'm just reading the chat. You've always right. been good to me. I know you tried. It just didn't work. <laughs> just leave me alone. Could we get a clip of that, please, mod team? Because that's priceless. Thank you very much. Um, so clip of what? Uh, they're clipping things that are um, of amusement or interesting or whatnot that you and I are talking about that I use okay. to put into a clip compilation. So they're running that behind the scenes, and they're probably already clipping it. A lot of times, I I ask them to do stuff that they're already doing <laughs> because they're really good. <laughs> um. Open the door, Jonah. Talk to me. It's me, your old friend, Madame Laboobies. I I care for you. No, no. Better I'm alone. It's fitting to do this here. But no, I don't care. You're not here. I can't. I can't. Not oh, till, no. Not till... No. Oh, wait. oh is he going to do something? Uh, open the door now. Open the door now, Jonah. No! Just go away! Get out! What did I tell you? We've got to help him! You wanna cuddle him? Do it when you're not here. But take my advice and stay away from guys like that. I know it's not good for business, but some people just shouldn't drink. Crap like that runs in the family. I should have barred Jonah along with his drunk ass brother. <sighs> Uh, so I don't know if this is a puzzle we need to solve. I said go away. 
I noticed that like this is whenever I watch someone play this, I always um, it always seemed like, oh, maybe I made this puzzle too hard. But everyone always figures it out very okay. quickly anyway. Trunk I mean, you know, idiot. yeah, you the door's locked. Right what do you need? Um, so we need a key or a bar stool. Can we pick up these bar stools? It's it's less. None of my puzzles are as like crazy as you think. They're always pretty straightforward. Okay. There's a if there's a locked door, you probably just need a key. Thank you, Valesh. Uh, so can you give me the key to this to this thing? Can I go around and look for it, maybe? Yeah, I I, I tried to make this as bright and obvious as possible, but everyone misses it. Oh, duh. <laughs> yeah. People always find it eventually. But I always um, think it's something that people would key. see right away. Yeah, like, oh, it's right this I big, bright thing, key-shaped thing on the wall. I, I, people don't I, see it. I, I warned you. I think I warned you that I'm not good with puzzles. I'm, I'm almost positive I did because I warned that all the... That took you a whole 20 seconds. <laughs> it did. So. 20 seconds. and But it would have been like 15 if I'd been super awesome smart. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, do you seriously... Didn't you seriously didn't think to use the key? Obviously, there was a key right there. Don't God. look at me like that. You want the truth? I didn't use the key because Jonah's scaring oh, the, the hell head out of me. Unbound. I was gonna give the key Mordecai, to Logan, but he's no Mordecai or Mordecai. Um, that wasn't a bug. That was like deliberately coded in. Um, it was just this funny. Um, I, I, oh, I made the achievement because I created a bug and found it funny. Because yeah, I had the character's head. Because he he played the I piano and had for expressions on. Oh, this is an important scene, so we should watch yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, something uh, something just is going down here, and yes. then we will answer your questions in just a minute. Oh my goodness! Put the gun down right now. I, I don't think I can do that. They keep talking to me, with the begging and pleading and crying. Can't you hear them? They are so loud. What is that book he has in his hand? That's what I want to know. Um. Ooh, you well need spotted. help, Jonah. Help? Who can help me with this? I thought I had it bad with just I can her. sort of hear you know, it bleeding so through, many. which is... Oh, I can so sort many. of hear it. I close my eyes. They're there. I try to sleep. Hello, Elven Stride. I tried to drink. That's a great name. They are still here. They got so bad, my boss fired me. Hey, kiddo. Me. me. Just like they fired my brother. It just keeps hey, you're watching Bubble Guppies. I can't make them go away. Wow. Jonah, give me the gun. It's your old friend, we Madame Labooby's talking. Give me no, the gun now. This is my only way out. You don't mess you with Madame Labooby's. No. I can't stop them. Uh, could somebody clip that, please? Them. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just heard it. You heard it right here. Um, that is the life advice from Dave Gilbert. Don't mess with Madame Labooby's because she's a feminist yep. oh. and she will rock your butt. <laughs> and your boobies. And your boobies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Valeste. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop telling them to clip things because they clip them anyway because they're good. Um, you don't have to die, Jonah. Life is worth living. Please stop. Yes, I do. I have to join the Army of the Dead. The only oh, way to crap. do that is to die. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I hope there's a way we can save him because if he dies, I'm going to be kind of upset. It's going to ruin my Saturday night. Dave. <laughs> um, Jonah, listen to me. Listen to me. There is no army of the dead. I know this for sure. Give me the gun. That's what I thought, too, when I saw the first one about a month ago. First goes Kay, a little girl. She told me I was chosen. Then I started seeing more and more everywhere they won't leave me alone those if of you who have played the game before stop, but didn't so play be. this origin know what he's talking about oh that's cool so there's replayability in unavowed yep 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 so you can play it through three times and get three different stories or how does this work? well um you could play the three different origins but you can like play each individual mission about five different ways depending on which character combinations you bring with you so that's another reason why the game took so darn long to make <laughs> wow mordecai yeah. is saying or mordecai is saying uh you need to play it around five times to get all the achievements people who like this game should also play the blackwell series says sir Price. i will not disagree 
And so tell us about, I mean, just take a quick moment and tell us what's the correlation. If you haven't played the Blackwell series, why would people who like this game so much like the Blackwell <clears throat> series besides the fact oh. that you created it? Oh, uh, well, it takes place in the same universe, as it were. Um, there's a lot of continuity between the two. Uh, so if you if you play the Blackwell games and then you play Unavowed, you'll get a little smidge more out of it because there's a lot of references and things that um, you'll only get if you play Blackwell. But you'll still enjoy the game if you haven't. So that that's cool. And folks who have played Unavowed and then go back to play and then go back to play Blackwell, they're like, oh wait, I see where that came from. Um, there's certain characters that you'll you'll recognize and. Um, You'll yeah. Uh, there's one character in Unavowed that if you have played Blackwell, will make you slightly sad when you see them, and I, I feel very proud that that worked. So you're getting real emotions from people. I mean, like for yeah. example, this enough of this crap. Just pull the trigger. I mean, who would click that? If you clicked that, if you're watching this and you click that, I, like what? Like what? Like. So did you put, I mean, did you put this in here with an evil grin on your face or? <laughs> I mean, no. Uh, it's sort of like trying to like snap him out of it. Like he's obviously doesn't want to. Booyah. I'm very excited. Uh, just a moment here. Let's just do the happy dance. Happy dance. Happy oh. dance. I just got a runtime error. That's not good. What? Microsoft Visual C++ runtime error. Um, because I just changed scenes. Oh dear, you guys uh -oh. didn't see this happen. That's bad. Okay, that's where you changed scenes. All I did was uh, there's a um, on OBS. I have keybind set up to change scenes real quickly behind the you know automatically. So I changed the scene to this one, and that's when that popped mm -hmm. up. It must um, have not something, but it looked like you were. Um, are you on a? You're not on a Mac, are you? No, no. No, uh, no, I don't know why that would have happened. So, yeah, I don't know why that would have happened. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that's all right. We'll, 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 we'll go back Twitch. in and quickly replay it. Um, but uh, what I wanted to say here there is, is I'm doing the happy right dance because we just made a sale. Yay, thank Overwind you, Overwind. Overwind bought the game. She just, he or she just bought it. Um, and now I'm on my way to buy the Blackwell series to play first. Hooray. And um, so... Uh, Mordecai is saying Durkin alone is enough to get it. He's the Stan Lee of Wajedi. Uh, <laughs> I would call him the J and, St J and Silent Bob of Wajedi. The J and sort of Silent a, Bob. Because he's just sort of the reoccurring character. I always have to have him in any of my games. If it takes place in New York, you'll see Sam Durkin somewhere. Always. Okay. Awesome. Um, so, um, if anyone else has bought the game because of the work we're doing today and letting you, uh, uh, hang out here with Dave and ask him questions and speak to him directly, the closest we can get to hanging out in his living room with him, because if we all came over right now, he'd be creeped out. Um, then yeah, let us know in chat. Let us know if you decide to buy the game. Um, Hooray. so, uh, let me go ahead and open the game up real quick again and, uh, Sorry about I mean, that. I have. No, I must have been some kind of like. I know tabbing in and out of the game sometimes causes issues, but yeah. usually it doesn't crash. Yeah. Um, I, but I think maybe something to do with uh, streaming software. Yeah. Also like, streaming too. Yeah. Like I said, streaming is yeah. takes a lot from from uh, from from. You know, there most should be an auto save are not streaming. By. I mean, you barely actually literally barely played three minutes of the. Actual I know. Exactly. I know. So <laughs> I told you I'm slow. Yeah, if you I'm hit, slow. If you hit low. Hit load. This should be an auto -slave. Okay. Uh, I need to do the uh, the oh yeah. auto slave. Good. Uh, so, let's restore. Um, yeah, so and then I also the I do need to change the uh, menu. How do I bring up? Oh, up here. Settings. There we go. Uh, because I think some of the volume settings didn't didn't change there. So they should have. They should have. They should have stayed. They should have held. Okay, because it f sounds a little bit louder to me. Uh, I want The most important thing oh. is the voices. That's that's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. Let's. I just click, click outside of the um of the oh, book to okay. exit out of it. Yeah. Sorry. All I right, and we're gonna go way. in and handle that really tough puzzle again. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, you just quickly skip through the dialogue. Just hit yes. the you know space bar. Uh, do you the... space bar? Okay, thank you. Okay. Don't Don't oh, and also just let just me put skip. the game back up on the screen. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you can see the game now. Let me know. Uh, let me just quickly check. 
Yeah, it's up. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, I believe we picked I this. Be here. I guess my brother and then it, honestly, it doesn't um, really matter that much. Just to let you know. Thank you. Like it doesn't like choosing one option isn't going to drastically impact the game or anything. <sighs> okay. Thank God you're. Do I look? I swear. Uh... Bestowers it's of eternity. Oh my I... God. No, that that kind of um, call... doesn't exist. Bestowers of eternity Honestly, is this little look, dinky I... freeware game I made. Like. Jesus, I made it in like 2002, 2003, and oh, it was kind of what turned into Blackwell. Don't uh, look at me like you want the. I was it's gonna... awful. It's really awful. I disavow uh, everything about it. It's unavowed, as it were. I just don't. Uh, I yeah. That door for <laughs> it's awful. Play it at your own risk if you can find it and if uh, you can get it to run. I don't think I can do that. They okay, so we'll go me, quickly to where we were. Um, no, but now I close my eyes. Because I, I really want to know what's going to happen here. No, I can't. Drink and yeah, you just... are. Yeah. I think you were. Oh, yeah, there's no army of the dead. I, if I, have... I think it was. You can get help. Yeah. yeah. You think being locked up in Bellevue locked was better? Locked up in Bellevue was better. Locked in Bellevue with these dead things? Blackwell reference. I thought about it. Asking for help. I can't live like this. But... Also, look at the mirrors. I don't want to die. Man. Help him, please. I, I don't want to die. Yeah. Why is this happening? He kind of fade in and out. I'm very subtle. I'm very happy with how subtle that is. They fade in and out? Really? Oh, the, cool. The, the words in the back. Oh, it does. Look at that. It's fading away. Okay, that is cool. I would not mm. have seen that. That is really cool. Did you guys see that uh, up there? Most people notice it the second time around that I thought I would let you guys know since you're here. That's what you're here for, yeah. No kidding. That's what you're here for. Maybe that's all it yeah. is. Stress. Maybe my bro's got the right idea. Maybe I should join the program? Here. Just take it. Thanks. You and oh, Sammy thank God. Right <laughs> You've always been good to me. And this book. <laughs> da, 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 da. Dave! <laughs> hmm? Why oh, are you... I was desperate, okay? It's what? about... Spirits and ghosts and stuff. It had techniques to make him go away, but I think it's just. Made I hope it worse. he doesn't die. Please don't die. It, will you? I just don't want to look at it. Those things come. Oh crap! No! Don't kill him! Oh no! An apology. <laughs> Was that a gunshot to Jonah? Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. Well. The hands you control <laughs> will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Gotcha! What the? It was so hard to get him to scream and the lightning to come down at the same, the same time. time. So, so I literally <laughs> just, I just made another vo a vo a audio file of the two combined. Oh, really? Okay. That was me you... being really, really cheap. I'm like, I'm not going to bother figuring out how this works. I'm just gonna <laughs> cheat. Screw this. <laughs> but, but if nobody uh, knows, then uh, nobody cares. He lies on the ground. Uh, twitching slightly, steam rises from his fingertips. So let me see. Oh crap! What did I just do? Um. Oh, I know. It's the chat here. I have to have chat up to keep it up here. So that's what that's doing. Stand Wait. back. Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. You okay? The you spirit just got... is gone. That lady's harmless. She just shot him in the head. Oh my god. Could you could you just tell me what happened? See? She doesn't even remember how she got here. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled. What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us and we will explain everything. I'm not gonna go with you. You just, I mean, apology or no apology, you have a sword. That is correct. 
It is also correct that we just saved your soul. Do as you like. <laughs> Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. A, a Twitch and Steam Just reference in the downstairs. game? When you're ready. I'm not we'll explain sure about that. I'm not sure what you're referring you're really to, so most things. likely not. Honest. Oh, and thanks, Raquel. Yeah, I was. I, I kind of wasn't expecting how much fun KK would be to write. <laughs> and uh, that's why I ended up expanding her section. Her, her bit of the game, I, I ended up expanding by quite a bit because she was so much fun to write, I didn't want to give her up. And you can talk about, you can um, say what you mean, uh, surprise, about that Twitch and Steam reference. He might understand at that point. Um, so I'm going to move this over here. And hopefully it didn't crash. Nope, it did not. A KK spinoff game. That's the most requested thing. But, Whoa! Uh, basically, that would, I mean, a, a, a KK and time. Logan spinoff game so would basically be another Blackwell game, just with different characters. You okay, sweetie? Evie, why don't you go get some water? No. Evie, you've been coughing for a long time. Okay, okay. so I'm not traumatized or anything. Um, uh, so was it hard for you to draw these like intestines and stuff? Is that triggering? I wouldn't know. I didn't draw it. Oh, I basically like, um, I asked Ben to just make it, you know, a, yeah, <laughs> please drink water, sweetie. Um, I asked her, I asked him to just make it, you know, like the scene of like, just uh, looked like there were several murders and he just decided to up the gore factor by a lot. <laughs> wow. Like, like with this blood dropping hair, this is really I love that. I loved that. I mean, just, you know, you got to have something in the foreground to give it depth and why not a dead bloody hand? Wow. Dripping. Okay. That's mm, all right. Uh, let's just, let's just talk. Uh, because whoa. Switching its so, steam was rising. That That's really yours? funny. No, not, Anything not intentional. To mind? I'm just reading the chat. I had, yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> what, um, did you do this? No, no, it was neither I of us. I love Although the way Sandra voices these lines. Although these innocents, I can't hear it at the moment. Of the city so who I will just I have, have to remember to it. Were destroyed by your hands. Yeah, I'm so sorry you can't hear it without. Oh, it's you, fine. It's Trust okay. Me, I, I'm I'm well aware of what it sounds like. So the I, voice actress for this character is whom? Could you type that oh, into Twitch chat? Uh, her name is um, yes. Uh, By the way, Son that is Mrs. Uh, Gilbert in the background, mommying oh. and taking their care of things in the background. You can see yeah. her uh, and more about her on the Wajedi Games website, wajedi.com. <laughs> WedgeEyeGames.com. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you could. Okay, and, uh, so yeah, her the woman playing Mandana. Her name is you were Sandra Espinoza. She goes by the name of Dusty Old Roses on things. a lot of internet you do not stuff. Remember? Awesome. One year ago. Oh, you murdered yep, that man Jonah in cold blood, and that bartender. That is wait. You killed. Your I... body did, if that's what you mean. That bar's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. <laughs> Spin-off game based on the a drunken Mandana. For you. As were we. Yeah. And Drunk is Mandana is the best in Mandana. I will first. say that much. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. How can you tear a person apart? Most of the blood from your hands, but it will always It's be not there, easy. Whether you no. can see it or not. <laughs> Especially if they're still alive. I mean, this is awful. Look at this poor girl. Turn yourself in. No, yeah. You can't do that. I love his that eyes. Correct. Whoa! Punishing yourself is not the answer, and would expose us. If you Hello, Charlene. Done, you came in at kind of I'll a gruesome right. point. <laughs> Listen to me. These Hello. These feelings you've got right now. Yeah, it's probably one of the more anger. gruesome scenes Hold in the game. To that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Hello, Speaking Charlene Vanas. Yeah, we Van need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away. But we should not tarry. I just like I I this is kind of X Files y except without the aliens. <laughs> but I mean like it's like you have like Sam and Mulder and 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 uh, the yeah and we're just confused. Okay, so uh, we we need to leave, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. There's two kinds of um, like urban fantasy. Uh, there's like the kind where. Ugh. 
Fresh like the last. the main character is the one showing you around the world, and there's the other of kind course. where the main character I'm is being shown I around the world. Yes. So and and this is kind of the the us. latter, I guess, you because to pry this off? Um, you're yeah, anything big kind of a newbie to the do. supernatural stuff and being shown around by these two people. So anything big or heavy, let's try this. Oh, okay, it opens it up. I see. Uh, trash and more trash. Heavily stained tablecloth. Um, a wire, a cloth, an exit. I like that. That's cool. Saves me. Okay. And then exit. And then here. Oh, a pipe. That's what we need. Whoa! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What in the? This place, much has changed. Okay, I'm genuinely Preacher. freaked out. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. <laughs> you're mistaken. No, you're I not boring me. I was summoned across the void by you. Oh, you're so so bad. This is so bad. This is like a bad Saturday night. This is a terrible thing. The creature's body is made up of sinew and ligaments. Um, that's so nasty. Speak false. Uh. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. So I'm just like uh. I'm like um. Excuse me. Whoa! Um, that might not be entirely oh! true. Oh! <laughs> Eli? I feel like that Game of Thrones Bons meme where it's I like, you know, hasn't read the books, hasn't read the books, has read the books. Probably and it's enough like to call the, attention the other two are like looking in horror while like the this. other guy is like, yes. <laughs> Neophyte mage. Oh, but man. Forces um, you don't understand. Can we hit him with a pipe? I'm mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. Uh, no! No, we can't! Do you like having your face eaten? You have none left. Ah, oh, that is so nasty. Um, yeah, a dirty clothes, a copper wire. Um, I don't know. Uh... That may be true, but stand we shall. Since Exposed wire, so lever, other, you don't look drain pipe. Yourself. Um, well, we have a the wire. I don't know why we, what we'd use it for. Maybe to suck them back up into difficult. this or something? I'm not sure. I used much um, of my energy getting here. Huh. So you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. Okay. And I then, and then fight. what? I have no quarrel um, with either of you. I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. That is all? What type of food do you require? On this plane oh. of existence, human flesh all right. is all that will sustain me. I love this background conversation. I made it maybe twice of as long as it needed to be, but I still love it. That's not gonna happen. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and then... We cannot allow that. And Depart then, in peace. there need not be bloodshed. Uh, a cloth? Not sure. A pipe? There's something that people generally. Uh, you, 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 everyone figures the this lady out eventually. You to leave. But just for expediency's sake, I'll give you a tiny you clue. Yeah. Notice that there is another drain pipe on the right. I summoned you. Oh, how would, uh, I do have that. Right. So, like, uh, well, you know. Oh, okay. So I need to somehow get the water to be flowing through right. there so instead. Leave. Yeah. I command it. Not everyone notices that right away, but they. I wouldn't have. No, the void no one has ever gotten completely stuck on this puzzle, but it does stump them for a bit. <laughs> Nothing happens. Eli. But you're on the right track. He Just maybe moving. you should use something else instead. Oh, the clock. I yeah. could see that. Magedling. Normally, I wouldn't like be giving you No, this, I uh, love figures. it that you're doing that. That's very I helpful. For, for we should probably get out of the way before this explodes, or he, he goes. Do I? Oh, well, I bet if I turn this on now. Look, it was my first exit. Ha ha! Yay! You nasty piece of sinew. That was creatively done. Nobody um, misses with Madame yeah. the boobies. Nice work. <laughs> 
Madam, Le well, um, I just couldn't let it kill me, and it kept eating my face, and I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. So, thanks. Um, couldn't <laughs> I couldn't let it just kill you? Thank you, Charlene. That is very altruistic of you. <laughs> Don't sound so shocked. I am not shocked. I'm merely pleased. So Whoa. Annika is saying that she died, or he Such died. Agony. What matter of pain is this? You're nasty. <laughs> um, you died like 50 times. <laughs> 50 times in this scene, Annika is saying. Annika, welcome to the Jessa channel. We are here live with Dave Gilbert <clears throat> over there. And he's having a, I hopefully, hopefully he's having a good time. We did fail at getting him to sing something from his, um, his, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm blanking out on it. Um, karaoke days. Anyway, uh, Mordecai has a question. Thought it'd be ironic if Joey got shackled to a newbie spirit guide. No, Joey is free. That wouldn't be nice. That wouldn't be fair. Do I ever hide anything specific? Um, ben, Ben is the one who does it. But yeah, I, almost all of his graffiti is some kind of inside joke. Um, there's always a reference in there somewhere. Um, whether he like it's it's something usually very very subtle. But uh, I you... I have never asked him to do it personally. But he's done it a lot. Okay. I think there's a graffiti later in the game that's like, um, it's, I don't know. It's like something weird in Russian. I don't even know what it is. He just wrote it there this as a reference to a Russian guy that he knows. It's very, very weird. He just I've throws stuff in because he can, you know, graffiti is, you know, Please. doesn't have to make sense. I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such, don't a, be baby. such a baby. I... I love the way Eli that's... reads that line or Frank <laughs> reads that line. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? Uh, you... Madam looks around and then goes, um, uh, are, uh. are you talking to me? I can <laughs> sense the corruption within Thank you. Thank you, Annika88. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The, the corruption, corruption lingers. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Preacher, you are at our uh, mercy. What's this? Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. Okay, well, we're not going to let it go. We He just said he eats people, so let's just, like, jump right to, like, you know, we're, like, the solution queen, you know? We're here to please the demons, you know? We're that person at the meeting who goes, hey, what about this? Awesome solution. What? Solution That's... queen? <laughs> Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Who yes, did this voice? Slaughtered only hours ago. Um, you mean Fresh the ligamental? Meat. Yes. In the monster? Perfect. Uh, Let that would have been Edwin Edwin Tiong is his peace. name. Uh, I, he goes by the name I do not I think, think Omadon I do on it would draw too much attention. Um, I'll, I'll type his name notice. since that's what you've asked me to do. The victims inside are innocent. When they have families, Tiong, they'll want closure. You can't have closure with somebody's leg. You summoned me. Uh, there is a female protagonist. I you can choose answer. male or female. Would you kill so, me just for um, that? you have a choice there. And there are multiple, multiple, multiple endings, lie. yes. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Just kill him. It was... She's right. End it. Uh, of course. <laughs> Die, creature. Bloodthirsty. You shall claim no flesh this night. Stab. Oh, well, that was not so bad. I thought it was going to like blood spray, splurting all over the place. Like all void creatures, nah. it will dissolve away in the gutter. Yeah, it's lying in running water suppose, anyway, so even if there was, it it'd be the okay. Best. It was the right thing to do. I know. We did good work tonight. We are... So, Dave, we're almost, we're Agreed. coming to an end. We, we have 15 more minutes to go. Especially for one more mm -hmm. situation. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so how, like, um, uh, whenever whenever I do a stream, and I, like two hours is my limit. I know some yeah, people like, yeah, I've seen exactly. last, like four hours, six hours. I don't know. I don't know how. I, I can't. I can't do that easy. either. The most I've ever done is six, and I was just really in a great mood that day. 
but uh, usually my streams, my own personal streams, last about three hours. Um, uh, yeah. So, ah, um, uh, that's just that's my bad right there because of the chat. I'm trying to work around the chat room here. You want to tell her, or should I? The game itself is amazing. Thank you, Eku. I assume it's Eku. Did we ever establish if it was Echo or Eku? We did not. Certainly can't go back to that mm. bar of yours. Indeed. We may never know. Although I could certainly use a drink after tonight. The demon shall remain a mystery. You, that creature we just defeated. Uh, is there any way to support its development? Yeah, buy the and game when it comes out. Coming. That would be great. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. <laughs> it's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone, but we can help. We can give you a new identity. And obviously, a new life. A new so, purpose. if ever we Normally, post information or news process, about it, please share it. More than um, you know, word of mouth is so, how we do business. Here? Word of mouth is how us? we how we've lasted this long. So, uh, yeah, that's the best support you can give us is word of mouth. Exactly. Um, and there's just uh, this game. Wajidai is built a reputation just not from spending a ton of money on marketing. I'm guessing. Um, not I mean, from. No, we don't. Yeah, it's, it's you know, mostly like it's yeah, just, it's mostly social media, word of mouth, and just and like, putting out really yeah. good games. Yeah, regularly, well, that, that, continuously. Does that matter? Does that actually matter? I think it um, kind of does. Maybe. <laughs> I'm told. I'm told making a good game matters sometimes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's mostly um, like just. <laughs> Say yeah, again, Twitter, word of mouth, social media, change. you know, my None existing reputation, and sad. Emily, Come. you know, kind of doing the grunt work of following up with press and stuff. Sleeping so, great. yeah, it's, By the it's way, my name's mostly, um, this is just Mondano. mostly the reputation we've Welcome built over the 12 years has kind of helped Trust us more me. than anything. Your life will never be the same. <laughs> yeah, well, it's pretty much not the same now, because I am, like, seriously traumatized, says Madame Laboobies. I might even change my name to something sensible. Excellent. Can't change your name. <laughs> Look at him. Can't. You're stuck. You're stuck with it. <laughs> so there's a tiny twin bed. You've slept uh, s small, but you sleep. You've you slept like a rock. There's a lot to see here. There's a photo. Let's take a look at that. Oh, I cannot believe she just shot these people. Oh my god. We haven't yet seen this woman here, but uh, these two people are dead. Yes. That's you. Oh, that's us. Yeah. Check out those boobies right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a, Good he's night, everybody. Such a, Try the fish. Such a beautiful guy. <laughs> Wonderfully. So do you describe the character that you, like, you know, he has two eyebrow rings. He has this... Not, nothing specific like that. I mostly said that he is someone who has kind of... Uh, been through some stuff um, and he kind of turned to a lot of alcohol and, and self abuse to kind of uh, you know deal with that and uh, you know so someone who like probably you know just someone who like looks like they've lived really like lived through something so that's kind of what we were going for because I always feel like tattoos and piercings usually tell a story about the person. And so, like, if you have, you know, the, uh, so the tattoos we definitely wanted. And um, the the uh, eyebrow ring was a, was a touch of the artist. I didn't really uh, have anything to do with that. It's wonderful. Please do not disturb those. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. Okay, so she just came out of a bottle. Do not even consider it. <laughs> yeah, um, what's with the bottle? <laughs> Just saying. You are awake. Did you sleep well? You just came out of, you know, I'm just saying, and I just really want to, um, I don't mean to be like kind of a pain about this, but you just came out of a bottle. This astonishes you. <laughs> After all you experienced. I suppose I should have seen this coming. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have. I love the way Sandra just managed to say the these lines mind. and still actually it may take some time for you sounds to genuine. It all. Yeah. I mean, she she's really sounds, so she sounds, I can see her as a character. She's just like, kind of like, okay, um, I'm great. not freaking out. I'm processing it. But, you know, people don't come out of a bottle every day. I believe you might be right, especially <coughs> if me. last night is any indication. More water. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good. 
because there is so little time to waste. My father, Kalash, is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, if you want to uh, see another uh, character facility. before we finish, be yes, I'd like to. Any questions? Yeah, he's um, that actor is a guy who's kind of internet famous. Um, a guy he goes by the name of ProZD online. Um, uh -huh. He does these really funny YouTube videos. His name is his real name is Song Wan Cho, but he um, he graciously did this character, and I'm very grateful because he's kind of amazing. If you listen to his voice, he's uh, that's how, yeah. I there's so many more questions I have to ask you, of course, you know, and we are running low on time. We have about ten more minutes, um, so we'll talk to this character. But my first question is, he's blue. <laughs> hmm? Yes. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? And his eyes are glowing. You're blue. I love how she says what I'm thinking. Because <laughs> no, you're blue. I am Kalash. I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom. And I run this branch of the unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How would you let that happen? Oh, I don't know. I tripped. Um, you know, it was a book. I sloppy, touched it. Sloppy. Such a thing would have been unthinkable. Yes. In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft. It's funny how a lot of people were surprised to see that it was Sun Wan. Um, even though, like, this is his the voice that he usually gets hired to do, is this very thing. Although on his YouTube videos, yes. he, I guess he doesn't normally Wireless do this voice. Yeah, his voice is so deep and beautiful. Well, if you no, look him up, if you look up his name, I'll, I'll type his name into chat. Thank uh, you. Chun, uh, Sun One, not Chun One. Come on, Dave. Rate, Sun we have much to One, and much to Joe, I think. Is that how you pronounce that? I spell his name? I don't want to butcher his name. I'm going to check. Sun, Sun One, Cho. Okay. Sun One Show, that's it, Sun One. So what we have seen so far is um, we have seen Sun One Ch Cho. Sun Wan Cho. And he's um, local to Brooklyn. Did you have any actors that you needed oh, to? Oh, no, he's, he's not local to Brooklyn. He was remote. Okay. Um, I don't believe I gave you permission to leave. What? Interesting. That is a very nice painting, and I'm curious as to who it is. Oops, my mm -hmm. bad. Excellent. I do like that one. That is very nicely done. So, oh, thank you. I didn't do it, but yeah. <laughs> I commis I asked the artist to do it. I can take credit for that. <laughs> so let's get some more conversation going before we end yes. for today. There's a photo of me in my room. Who put it there? I do not know. I am not being facetious. I honestly do not know. This building has housed many agents over the centuries, and they too have been given gifts, photographs and portraits of loved ones, precious possessions. How many lost. black backgrounds are actually we drawn and then not included in the final product? Uh, none that I can think of. Um, pretty much, if I asked them to draw a background, it's because I knew it was going to be there. Um, there's very, there's no location that was actually cut. Some animations didn't make what it do you in. Want to know? Uh, there was a whole puzzle involving, um, like, uh, slicing your hand open with a knife to get blood to do a oh. ritual. That um, we actually have the animations, but we never actually used that puzzle um, for various reasons. So the there's some is animations kin. that we didn't use, and but yes, I don't think there's any lost side. backgrounds or anything. And no, I do not grant wishes. Okay, um... Thank you. So, our, the next thing that we can do... I wonder if we can leave now. He has not given us permission to, and I think we have to somehow earn permission I to. You, I think you have, you have to have a meeting first, is what he... Uh... Oh, okay, yes. So let's do the meeting really quickly. And then I'll finish up with a couple more questions, and then we will let you get to sure. your dinner. I just, just to let you know, the, the meeting scene lasts quite a bit. So if you do want to uh, have a little bit more Q&A, you probably best to end it now. Okay. 
thank you for letting me know. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's head on over to. It's not that long, but the rate we go through stuff. Yeah, it, I know. It, it, it's long. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's it, it's a balancing act. So you know, feedback about that is helpful because I want you to be the primary person because that's what we're here. We're here to talk to you. Um, okay. I'm going to put uh, myself back up on screen. This is the time Hello. to ask any final questions to Dave as we finish up the stream tonight. Um, and Dave is, I have a feeling his missus is making dinner. What are you having for dinner? I do not know. We're, okay. we're going away tomorrow, so we have very little food. So, um, it's cause, so you know, when we go away for a week, we naturally don't buy new food. So I don't know. Exactly. So I'm curious, one of the questions I'm personally curious about is, you keep saying we, you know, we did this, we did that. What were the different roles? Like, what what do you specifically do <clears throat> to create Unavowed? Well, I do the, um, I write it, design it, I program it, uh, test it, um, pretty much anything that's not music or art, uh, I handle. Or voice acting, obviously. I didn't voice everybody. Um, but yeah, uh, so I say we just because it's easier. Um, but yeah, so like there's a guy doing all the art. There was another guy doing port. Those, um, ben did the backgrounds and the, char uh, the character sprites. Um, that was Ben Chandler. A guy named Ivan Ulanoff did the portraits. And mm -hmm. um, I'm realizing I'm like counting off on my fingers and my hand is off camera. So you can't see oh, what yeah. I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I'm like, burp, 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 burp. So you're just seeing my arm kind of move up and down. <laughs> and, down the line. Um, and Thomas Reagan did the music, obviously. And that was about it in terms of the team. It was actually a very small team altogether. And um, how did you go about finding like someone who's, I mean, the, 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 the artist, you had, you know you you were you wanted to create a game your early mm. games did you do your own art and, and did just discover you're just no. not that great at it or something or I, what? oh i always been that bad at art um for my early games i i found other artists who kind of you know it's just a freelance basis thing but the problem with working with freelancers is that you're at the whim of their other jobs yeah if they're um if you want to when i have a project and oh i want to hire this guy again they might be busy on something yeah, else exactly. and then you got to work exactly. with someone new if you play all five blackwell games each one has a different art style because they were all done by different art teams and then um i started working with ben and he was just, he was just so great and we worked together so well and i think he it's funny he told me later that he was like always trying to like finagle his way into a job with me um <laughs> and i at one point he was like he was kind of already he was basically doing th like every game i was publishing at the time um and and I, there was a game i was writing there was black hole epiphany we were remaking the shiva um he was doing a working on a game called techno babylon and he was slated to work yes. on a game called sharp light it was still yes. four games that we were doing and he was going to do the art for all four of them and meanwhile he was still like you know he was working on a sheep farm of all things and i've been like why don't I just hire him full time? I've been dancing around this long enough and I think I can afford it. So uh, exactly. we did. And so now he was just able to just do this all the time. That was his job is to do art for us. And so he just loved that because he just had total freedom to do everything. And just the problem is like staying ahead of him because he's so prolific and he, he's just so great that he catches up to my design really fast. So the... The challenge is to constantly be ahead of him. But as I said, he, he never is idle. He always finds something to do. He finds a way to keep himself busy, which is always good. Yeah, exactly. And there's another question coming in here from Mordecai. Would you say that you're slowly hitting a wall when it comes to Adventure Game Studio, the program you use to create the games? It feels like you're doing a lot of stuff with it that other people would consider impossible by using I mean, Adventure not Game Studio. Really? I, I mean, there's nothing I did in Undervowed that's impossible. I mean, there's just, it's just an extension of stuff that I was already doing. Like, I love doing characters and I love doing like, you know, little personal stories and, um, you know, character study moments. Um, it's just that now there's just a lot more of it with all the, I just added all the branching and that's, I mean, AGS could totally do that. It's just, keeping track finding ways to keep track of all the data and all the all the choices that was a bit challenging i had to like create unique functions for all of that it's something ags can do easily it's just no one had done it so it's nothing that it's certainly not impossible it's not even that difficult it was just um an extension of what i was already 
doing. It was something I already knew I could do well, and so I just decided to do make more of it, just make it bigger and better. And you kind of st- and you started out with that program, so you must know it backwards and forwards by this point. But it's not there being are upgrade, people updated who can anymore. Make Is that correct? Dance. There are people who can make it dance. I'm not. Uh, I know how to use. I can do. I could use. I, I pretty much between Ben and I cuz Ben can like draw anything and I can I can pretty much make it program make it do anything um I, I can I know how to make it do pretty much anything I want so between the two of us we can pretty much make any kind of 2D point and click adventure game that we want to make um with Techno Babylon the sequel to Techno Babylon they're going they're doing 3D which is crazy um it, but it's looking so good um, which is weird. It doesn't really, uh, it, it feels like such a departure, but it's, it's really cool that we're doing a 3d game because we've never done it before. And my last question to you before we finish up today is the question that I think probably a lot of people want to know and Uh-oh. you probably won't answer, but, <laughs> um, I, I, I'm wondering what's, have you already got your next game planned? Um, no. And, no. <laughs> I do not. Um, right now I'm focusing, like, we're, we're publishing two other games. There's a game called Nighthawks, which had a Kickstarter recently. Um, Nighthawks. And there's Techno Babylon 2. And mm-hmm. I'm not, like, deeply entrenched in those. Like, they're kind of, the folks involved have made games with us before, uh, and they know what they're doing, and they're just doing it, and I'm just sort of, like, quietly overseeing it. So there is no rush to do a game of my own because... It's like I don't normally I'm, I'm rushing to get a game out. It's because oh we need money, we need to get something out, and I'm not I, I'm not feeling that pressure at the moment because Unavowed has done well, and I know other games are gonna just happen, and mm-hmm. you're pointing and I don't know why. Oh, that just means I'm greeting someone who's come into chat. I'm saying hello. Oh, is that what that means? Okay. Yep. Uh, Faith <laughs> John Jessica has and, just come and, in. Ed Wad, is that? Yeah, Wad, probably Wadjadai, <laughs> short for Wadjadai. Uh, so it's okay. just, I like to, the minute people come in and say hello to me, I like to greet them and let them know that even though I'm listening to you, oh, I yeah. do see them. I realized um, I, w- I wasn't seeing your face before. Oh, so, yeah. Yep. Because I'm looking Here's at your, face. your screen, not the stream. Yeah. So I didn't see that. Um, so that's funny. I'm like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm, pay- I'm, I'm pointing the wrong way because like it's reversed on my end. So there we go. Yes, that's, um, that is. Yeah. So, so um. So there's some questions here, and if Dave has any time, he has, he has to get on with his day. Um, I was incredibly grateful and also quite surprised that he was willing to give his time to uh, give developer commentary. Oh. And there's a lot of developer commentary already in the game. So when you buy the game, you can learn more. We ha- we found so out things. if you things... haven't gotten totally sick of me talking, you can listen to me more. I, I Which I will. <laughs> Because right. I'm not sick of listening to you talk. I think this has been a fantastic stream. I'm very pleased. Um, I I was a pleasure to to talk with you. Um, it was a pleasure to to find out things are going Thank on the you game. So much. We went through the game really slowly, but it's a it's a benefit. I consider it to be a benefit because now you're curious. Ten, we got about- Got through about ten minutes of the game. At so ten minutes in two hours, you guys. Spoilers, but <laughs> they don't have to wait. normally I get through a little more than that. But the point is, we want to wet the whistle of you and ask Speaking you to of. go out and buy this game because it's people like Dave here who create these games for us that we can play. And each time, I imagine that Dave's next game is going to be. You know, even more uh, yeah. um, of of he learns and does so much with each game. No pressure. Yeah. So um, <laughs> Dave's gonna make something absolutely amazing, and on release day, <laughs> on release day, whenever that day comes, uh, he's gonna come to me and say, "Jessa, come on, let's do some developer commentary," and I'll be like, "Let's sell this baby." <laughs> do it. And um, but anyway, in all that seriousness, be for a while. But... Yeah. It'll be for he needs a vacation, guys. But after that, we will have more Wadget Eye games. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed what you oh, saw, thank you. feel free to hit the thumbs up button below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're on Steam, buy the game. Yes, buy the please. game. It's right down below. Buy the game. <laughs> um, if you're watching on Twitch or Mixer, feel free to follow me as well too. You can also follow Dave at Wadget Eye Games or at wadgeteyegames.com. 
I want to thank so many people there. for being yes. here. I saw Leah could just come in. Hi, Leah. We're just ending over when there were a lot of new people coming into the Jessa channel. Feel free to hit the follow button up above uh, because I will be doing developer commentary with more developers, including developers that you can see, boom, in the chat right now. So um, thank you so, so much. Faith John, um, one last question, Dave, here. Faith John is saying he can't afford the game. So let's talk about the Steam um, Christmas sales and summer sales. What are you going to do for that? Do you have an idea yet? Um, yeah. I mean, um, we always put everything into the sales. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be seeing them in the sales. Yeah. I'm not going to be discounting it too heavily because it just it's came out. It's still in the release um, windows, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, all our other stuff will be probably heavily discounted because exactly. they always are. So exactly. You'll see uh, them then. Yeah. So. But the game is, is very reasonably priced. It's currently, I think you said, $14.99? Uh, yes. $14.99, you guys, for a game that's like eight hours. Come on. More, more than that. More than that. <laughs> more than that. Whatever he yeah, said, how so. many it is. That's what, yeah, I, that's like, what it is. Anyway, Dave, like um, I'm going to have you uh, mute, your, uh, mute your microphone and hang out with me for just a minute and Skype while I finish up with you. With everyone else, I'm going to put some music on and see us out. And Bye -bye. I want to thank you so much for being here with me at the Jessa channel. I love doing this. I think it's the most wonderful thing in the world. And you guys make me very happy. Very happy. And thank you so much for watching. So um, I think you can hear me still. Just want to make sure I'm muted. Nope. What?